Hey guys, let's see how you can boot from a USB on a Dell laptop. Here I have the Dell Latitude 7490 and I have the USB ready to boot, right? I can boot from this. But first, let me just turn this on and show the options that I have here available. You just turn on your computer and start pressing the F12 key. Just keep pushing it, pushing it, pushing it until you see a message here on the top and it's going to load the boot menu. There we go. As you can see, I have the options here to boot from a Windows boot manager. And I don't have the option here to boot from a USB device. That's because I don't have the USB uh, device or the USB thumb drive here on the USB port yet, right? So I need to have this one with the file inside. Let me just uh, ask here and let Windows boot up. I have Windows here on this computer already. I'm just going to show you how you can create this thumb drive, all right? If your Windows is not boot, booting up from your computer, you can just use an extra computer. I'm just using this one because I have a Windows already. So I'm going to show you how you can download the file and put it here, okay? So let me just log in. in. So I get here on my Windows and then I can just go to the website and download the file and create this thumb drive, okay? So here I just come and look for Create Windows 11 bootable USB. Just search this on Google. And here, this link is good enough. Create installation media for Windows from Microsoft. Just make sure that you get this one. And here are the instructions to create installation media for Windows. And here have Windows 10 or 11. So in my case here, I was just going to use Windows 11 and go to Downloads Windows 11 site. Just click here. It's going to load a new tab here. And then you just need to skip the first one here, Windows 11 Installation Assistant. Don't use this one. Just go to the next one here. And you select Create Windows 11 Installation Media. That's the tool that you're going to use. Just hit Download. Wait for it to download here to your folder. See, that's the Media Creation Tool.exe. That's the one. Just double click on it. Hit yes. And wait for the tool to load. Sometimes it, it takes a while to load, right? 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Mine is like loading pretty fast, but sometimes it just takes a while to load this tool. So just wait, okay? So I just need to agree here, accept the terms. There we go. And now it's getting ready. So you have also to get a high capacity thumb drive. You see here that I can select the language. In my case here, English, United States, Windows 11, and use the recommended option for this PC. Because I'm creating here the same PC that I'm going to boot, uh, use the USB thumb drive to boot from, I have already here this option, right? If you're using a different computer, you're not going to use uh, this PC as a recommended one, right? So just click next. And here you see that it can use a USB flash drive or ISO file. I'm gonna use a USB flash drive and you need to be, to have at least eight gigabytes on your thumb drive so you can create the media, right? I have more than eight gigabytes here. So I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna insert just right here on the USB A port. Any port is good enough as long as it's here. It's going to work. Then I come back here to the computer. And I just hit, hit next. And here you can see the drive, the drive that's here. I can refresh the list just to make sure that I have the correct one. Hit next one more time. And you see here the progress on creating the thumb drive. Okay. It's going to take a while here. It's going to come from zero to 100%. Download Windows 11 and create your thumb drive. Now you just need to wait until it finishes. There we go, your USB flash drive is ready. Okay, so I just hit finish here. The setup is cleaning up something here and we are good to go. Now you can just uh, restart your computer and boot from the flash drive or for, from the thumb drive. So I just click restart here. It's restarting right now. Just leave the thumb drive here. And when it starts restarting, you just need to press the F12 key several times until you get into 
um, the boot menu, okay? Just for it to restart and pre start pressing F12 several times. Now you're gonna see a different options available there, okay? So you see the Dell logo. There we go, it's loading up. There we go. Now you see here the option to boot from the USB device, okay? It's an extra option here available that was not here before. Then you can just select here and hit enter. There we go, now it's booting up from the USB thumb drive. You see here that you can select the language to install and also the time and just continue. Hit next here, select the keyboard that you want, you want to use. Hit next one more time. And here you got to choose if you'd like to install Windows 11 or repair your PC. If you're installing Windows again, see there is no way to continue unless you check the box here that you agree with er that everything will be deleted, including files, apps, and settings. Just be careful with this if you don't have a backup and you still need to use your files, don't use this option. You can use the repair my PC option here and then it enables the next button. And from here, you're gonna select your keyboard that you want to install and continue from here and just recover your computer, okay? So it's, it's a way to recover your computer if it's damaged and you can't uh, boot with windows for example right so hope that helps from here you can continue and do whatever you want repair your computer for example or on the last option there you can just reinstall windows that's the way you can boot up from a usb thumb drive on a dell pc i'm here using a dell latitude 7490 but it works with any dell hope that helps leave your comments here subscribe to this channel and i see you in the next one